definitely take the eye. Oh, yes. We're popping. We can see the pop. Oh, thank you. Um, and it's the idea of you are now bringing a perspective to the table that may have not been heard yet. You are now offering something. You are important. Every single piece of you, every single experience is important. And for you to dim that light, like you mentioned, is only going to serve an injustice to yourself and to the, your communities. And so definitely, like, making sure to empower who you are and all of you is definitely really important. A round of applause because um, for Marjan and her nine classmates creating a library from scratch in sixth grade, that is amazing. insanely amazing. Um, you guys are all so, so amazing. Um, uh, but... I can tell that like a lot of people here, they might have dealt with, you know, um, situations where they did have to dim their light and like did feel like they can't bring themselves to their, like to whatever table that they um, are at and like bring their whole selves. Have you guys ever felt like that? Like you had to kind of um, excise parts of you to like fit in um, and could you like elaborate on that? Any of you specifically? Well, as a Muslim American and as someone that comes from an Afghan background, their parents from Afghanistan, as I mentioned earlier, um, you have to be very cautious of the space that you're entering. And so often, even the fact that we are women, we're always told, take as little space as possible. When you're sitting down, if you're on the train, you take as little space as possible. Your voice cannot take up the whole room. Um, and that in and of itself is not only degrading who we are as women, but then that teaches us that other identities that might not feel comfortable to other people must also be lived down. And so I'm finding myself in spaces, and a lot of the work that I do is in Washington, D.C., and so I do end up going to a lot of political spaces and speaking there. Um, but I find myself, like, somehow trying to meet a middle ground with my morals, with my faith, faith with my identity. And it's like... There is no middle ground at some point, you know, like you cannot compromise your values for the sake of other people's comfortability. And again, that goes into the idea of injustice then rippling into your community and teaching others, well, hey, if you're not going to own up to 100% of it, you know, maybe someone's going to accept like the 10% of you.